what's this session look like? How important is it uh, given the week off? Yeah, it's obviously important to get some match play and we'll do two 20 minute blocks of match play and probably a couple of hours of training. So uh, we need to get a lot of work into the guys um, and obviously uh, there's some guys that need it with obviously Nick coming back as well to get him some, some minutes in match play. Yeah, so we plan to do half of a uh, match play. I'm not sure whether it's the first or second block, but um, yeah, he's raring to go and hopefully get through. How's he been going over the past couple of days? You saw him training by himself. How does he, how's he taken the He's been good. He's driving the coaches mad at the moment. He's um, in our offices every day. He's come to the Oppo footy games. But, yeah, he's done everything he can. Um, he's ticked all the boxes. Um, he would have played last week if, if we uh, – well, this week, sorry, if, if we needed him. Um, but, obviously, having a luxury of the week off is going to be beneficial for him. What messaging have the coaches given to Brady Maynard after the week he's had? Uh, nothing. Just keep um, keep being a good teammate and a good uh, – playing the ball hard. And, yeah, he, he's um, – Obviously, he had to go through the tribunal process, so that sort of rattled him a bit. But he's um, back on track now, and we we'll expect a good session from him today as well. But mentally, was it for him to go through that, and, and the support he would have got within the four walls? Yeah, we support all our players through and through, and as you know, as, as you know, as a football act, so it was wasn't anything dirty or untoward. So um, it was unfortunate um, that Angus got you know concussed with it, but you know we want Braden to keep being Braden, and we'll support him as, as much as we can. And not to change the way he played. Is that the message that you did? Yeah, definitely. He, he's, he plays the ball. He's not, he's not a dirty player. He's hard at it. Um, he supports our, our guys and um, he's a real barometer for us. So we, we want to keep keep that up. Yeah, so he managed into last game. So like you said, the, the extra week off is going to be crucial. He, um, I think we put him in a splint for a couple of days. He still really let us settle down, but he, he's fine to go. Do you treat this upcoming week like any other week of football or do you build it up for the players? No, we don't need to build it up anymore. You look around, there's a couple of thousand at training. So, um, no, we, we try and keep it as normal as we can. We're a very much process-driven team. So, um, you know, we've got to get through today before we get through tomorrow. So we're just focusing on um, nailing today and we'll work our way through the week as we get on. To be honest, I'm not sure exactly what they've got planned for him, whether he's non-contact or not, but I, I know he's definitely right to go next week with main training and obviously the game as well. Yeah, we had tough last week, obviously, with Noves missing. That was a really hard call. We are in match committee for hours and hours throughout the week, so obviously Nick coming back, we'll, we'll find room for him, no doubt, but um, there's going to be an un unlucky person at this stage that's going to miss as well. Yeah, we, we managed to get in a, a, a practice game last week against um, St Kilda's reserves. I think it was 14 on 14. So we got some work into the guys and then we knew we had the two, the two 20 minute blocks today. So it's important to keep those guys going. Um, we're going to need the whole squad to, to you know hopefully win the flag. So we need to keep getting those getting the work into those guys, especially around the match play stuff. Just back on Nick and, and his fitness, do you expect, I mean, he's had a lot of time off, obviously, but I assume his fitness is going to be pretty solid. Can he just make a massive impact in this upcoming game? I hope so. Yeah, he's before he went out, he was one of the best players of the comp, and um, he's a natural footballer. So we think he'll pick it up straight away. But um, the the good thing about Nick is he can play forward, mid, and back, so he can fill holes wherever he need him uh, and impact in those roles. And he can do that. He'll play in any of those positions, given given he played a fair way off. Um, but he can play in any of those positions. Yeah. So we, we we've played him as a general mid for a block. I think we had six weeks of that. He started as a high yeah. back, and then. In late games, we've pushed him forward when we need to win the game. So it's a real luxury to have a guy that can impact in all those roles. Conditioning-wise, that wouldn't be an issue with what he's been through, no? Nah, he's one of our fittest players, so he's naturally fit and he's naturally skillful. So he's very lucky in that regard. He's brought Josh said that there's a group of players coming along tonight to watch. Is that coaching-driven or is that just popular? No, they love it. They they go to as many games as they can. Nick was came to the Oppo last week, watched um, the GWS game. So, yeah, they get to as many games as they can. And obviously, being in Melbourne, you sport for choice. So, um, yeah, like I said, Nick Nick's been driving everyone mad around that. And uh, I think uh, Josh would be happy having Nick back, as he tends to kick in the ball every time he gets it. So, be happy with that. Will you be watching tonight or tomorrow night with a notepad in hand? Yeah, definitely. As you get to the pointy end, you've got to be across all the teams and what they're doing. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll obviously watch um, the, the Saturday game with, with a lot of interest because we'll be playing one of those two teams. So, um, But this time of year, playing a good team no matter what. So, And we sort of know what teams are going to do, but you're just looking for any little minor detail changes.